instead of having to download photo editing software to your computer like Photoshop or GIMP. If you're the type of person that prefers to edit your photos online inside of your favorite web browser, I'm going to show you the top five photo editors that you can use for free online. And we're starting right now. Coming in at number five is Be Funky, which is great for those of you with limited experience editing photos. It includes the basic tools to easily boost your image quality. In addition to their photo editor, Be Funky also has a collage maker and a designer tool set for graphic designers. When you launch Be Funky, all the tools are located along the left. While some are included with their free version, those marked with the star will require that you upgrade to their paid version. In the Edit Essentials, Color is a great place to start for enhancing your image. There are other tool sets that you can play around with, including the ability to add text. If you need those additional features locked behind the paywall, Be Funky will cost you $14.99 if billed monthly, or run you about $6.99 a month if billed annually. And the number four spot is the Fotor Photo Editor. Just like some of the others mentioned in this video, it has a separate collage and design maker. It offers a simple, easy to use interface with the basic editing features included, along with some that are more advanced. While Fotor does offer more tools than our number five pick, some are only available to pro users. They'll be marked with a diamond icon. Using a pro feature, will place a watermark on your photo. The ability to use a dark theme while editing is a cool feature. To switch to the dark theme, go to settings in the lower left and select darker. That will make the interface easier on your eyes. If you upgrade to Fotor Pro to unlock more of its features, including some of its AI tools, pricing is $333 per month if billed annually, or to get all of its features, Fotor Pro Plus is $749 per month if billed annually. Coming in at number three is Pixlr. This one's been around for many years and is a great choice for those of you wanting something simple to use. It comes in two varieties, Pixlr Express and Pixlr Editor. Pixlr Express is their basic photo editor. You'll find tools here on the left to crop, adjust the colors, add effects, there's various filters, and you can add text with many styles to choose from. For those of you needing something more advanced, Pixlr Editor includes the same tools as Pixlr Express, plus a whole lot more, including various pen tools to mark up your image. For free, both Pixlr Express and Pixlr Editor does have ads. To go ad-free and get additional features, including access to its AI tools, plans start at $249 per month. In the runner-up spot at number two is iPicky, which also has a separate collage maker and graphic design tool set. It's completely free with all of their advanced features included at no extra cost. With iPicky, you'll find most of the basic and advanced tools you would ever need. The other tool sets available include photo effects, retouch, you can work with layers to add photos, text, stickers, and create shapes, painting tools, frames, and textures. If the user interface is too bright for you, clicking on the light bulb in the lower left lets you toggle between a light and dark theme. The only downside to iPicky are the saving options, which are limited to JPEG and PNG. Other than that, it's a fantastic photo editor. Before we get to our number one pick, here are two free online photo editors popular with users that just missed out making our top five. Ribbit is another one with free basic features that requires an upgrade to premium to use the advanced tools. On both slow and high powered machines we tested, the responsiveness switching tabs seemed slow, but on the bright side, you can switch between a dark and light theme, albeit slowly. And there's Google Photos with a limited feature set to make a few quick changes. In the top spot coming in at number one is Photopea. With a high learning curve, it offers many of the same features as Photoshop and GIMP, making it a great free online alternative to those programs. All of the features are included for free. You'll find the primary tools along the left with others located in the menu bar. On the right, it even supports working with layers. If you want to change the look of Photopea, go to more in the menu bar, 
Then theme. It's currently set to black. Your other choices are silver, iron blue, snow white, and Danish purple. Other than black, my favorite is iron blue. You can import PSD, XCF, Sketch, and other image file types before you start editing. When you're finished with your project, your photos can be exported in a dozen formats, including JPEG, PNG, SVG, and many others. Like I said earlier, PhotoP has a high learning curve, but is capable of doing more than any other photo editor mentioned in this video after you learn how to use it. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Let us know in the comments if you use an online photo editor. If you do, what are you using? And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and ring the bell for more top fives and other tech related stuff here on Brett in Tech.